We have got Jared Floor stuck in on the right here. The smoke is on 250 miles an hour. That Texan is bringing up into the vertical over the beautiful blue skies of Watsonville. Let's see how he cranks into this maneuver here. Eight G's on his initial pullout. And does a bit of a hammerhead turn. Bring it right on down, snapping down, spiraling down. Jared, as I said, from the state of Texas, working out here in Palo Alto at Advantage Aviation. You can check them out at advantage-aviation.com, Palo Alto Airport. More modern aircraft than any other club in the Bay Area. And they specialize in the G1000 cockpit. They also have a G1000 simulator. They can take anybody from commercial to private. Let me tell you, Jared's one of their instructors. He's actually my daughter's instructor. I'm quite honored to be announcing him. And watch him take that beautiful two-seat extra 300 into a centrifuge right across the front, tumbling the aircraft and look right back to wings level flight, levels it on out. Folks, give it up for Jared Floor. Oh yeah, he's not done. He's only about four or five maneuvers into this. He likes to get the airspeed on the aircraft so he can get maximum G on it. Now watch that he calls this the spiraling tower. Right up into the vertical. Stick over to the side. Get that rudder in there. Get that beautiful smoke spiraling around. And as he comes back on the downline, he'll level the aircraft out before giving us a half slow to the right. Followed by a reverse fast roll to the left. Speaking of maximum G. Jared and a couple other people have started at MaxGAviation.com. It's going to be a social club atmosphere, pool tables, big screen TVs in the lounge. It's out of Palo Alto Airport. And they've got advanced and great instructors for learning tailwheel training, spin and aerobatic training. And they're going to compliment all the stuff you can go learn at Advantage Aviation right there in the same field. So you've got everything you need between Advantage Aviation and Max G Aviation. They're going to have a BT-13 like you just saw, that two-ship of the Warbirds. Their grand opening is going to be on October 1st. Get on out there. I believe that's a Tuesday. Jared bring it on down the 45 line, finishing out a shark's tooth. As he mentioned to me earlier, the grand opening, they're going to have a food available. The first 50 members will have no initiation fee. You can be entered into a raffle to win a ride in that extra 300 you see before you. Certified aircraft. Jared gives instruction in the aircraft. You want to learn how to do extreme aerobatics. This is the guy and this is the airplane you want to be flying in. Look at the beautiful slow roll. Check out how straight that line is. You've got to ease into that positive G and then ease into that negative G. Very, very difficult to keep that smoke straight. I tried it and it looked like a big zigzag line. He takes it right into another shark's tooth, rolling it back down. Very similar to a half Cuban 8. And now he's going to take a basic maneuver like the loop as he takes on up and at the very top of the loop he's going to put in rudder and ass stick and give you a snap roll one, one time around. They call that maneuver the avalanche. Now he's going to bring it up into the 45 line, roll it inverted for a reverse, a reverse shark's tooth. Anyway, Jared, got, I've gotten to know him over the last year. Last year was his first year at Watsonville. His ace, his air show competency evaluator is Wayne Hanley. And just yesterday, when he flew his performance, Eddie Andrini was the other ace that just updated his card. Watch this as he takes the extra, runs it out of airspeed, lets the aircraft fall back tail first, certainly not designed to fly that way. But finally, gravity takes over and says, I don't think so. You better go full power, which he just did. And he brings it back up from zero airspeed back to almost 180 miles an hour into the pole. Now, Max Immelman, great, great World War I fighter pilot. The maneuver that Immelman was named after Max. I believe we're going to see Jared do the Immelman, which is a half loop in the vertical. Now, look at him. The smoke is off. Why is the aircraft still turning? There's the torque roll. Literally the engine twisting around, 350 horsepower, turning that aircraft in the sky. Not the ailerons, not the wings, that's the horsepower. And that was the maneuver that won Charlie Hilliard in 1972, the first American world champion.
Jared's going to reposition himself back on over to the side there. Again, Jared Floor, great uh, instructor out at Attitude Aviation. If you're thinking about it, get on out to Palo Alto, California Airport. Another subterfuge. Jared, Jared Hales from Stanton, Texas. And I mean, if you ever go through Stanton, Texas, great sign out there. It says Stanton, Texas, home of 3,000 friendly folks and a few old soreheads. Well, I'm here to tell you, Jared and his family, no soreheads. Some of the nicest people you'll come across. And let's see if Jared brings it in at the X with top speed of 250 miles an hour, waving at the crowd down there. Centrifuge. Jared wanted to dedicate that last centrifuge to his dad, Tim. That centrifuge is Tim's favorite maneuver, and Jared asked me to pass on to his dad that that was dedicated to you, Dad. Jared's going to bring it back by, I believe, for one photo pass. Airplane. Certainly, if you want to get out there, talk to Jared after he lands on how you can get in the front seat of that extra with him and go uh, go get a little bit of extra maximum G. Hello, Wells. Uh, Jared just commented to the Airbus.